Hello all dinosaurs, I'm Den and today we are doing a special video. So basically, I'm gonna show you guys all my Jurassic World action figures which are still in the original packaging. At the same time, we will be doing an unboxing of the new Cam Cretaceous figures which I'm super excited with a brand new Styracosaurus and some Snap Squad. So let's get right into it. Okay guys, so before we actually unbox the new figures, I'm letting you guys know that I will be doing a giveaway of this awesome epic roaring T-Rex when we hit 1 million subscribers to one lucky um, subscriber and of course this set as well so stay tuned for that video 15 mini action dinos so I'll be doing this video probably at the end of this month you know hopefully we have reached 1 million subscribers by then okay without further ado let's get right into the unboxing okay so the first figure that I'm going to unbox will be this Styracosaurus, Savage Strikes Styracosaurus. This is actually a repainted version of the previous version, okay? So let's open this up. Just going to slot my scissors in. Cut the strings loose. Be careful not to scratch the dinosaur. There you go. So it's released from its cage. All right, so this is the new painted Styracosaurus, it is looking super nice. In terms of the colors, it's much more vibrant than the previous one. And in terms of detailing, this is awesome. We're gonna do a comparison very shortly. So Savage Strike, basically, when you move the tail, the head will go into attacking motion. Yeah, so it looks really good. You can actually move um, the fr front legs as well as the hind legs, okay? If you take a look at the paint scheme, I love the red patterns over the body, the top of the body. And here is the code for you to scan in your Jurassic World Facts app. Let me just bring it closer. Hopefully, you'll be able to scan it. I know it is not easy. So this is the new Savage Strike Styracosaurus. This is a 2020 version. I got this from a place called Kitty Palace or in my country it looks really good so if you take a look at this you can see the new um, attack packs and um, the new Scutosaurus so let's do a comparison right now okay guys so let's do a quick comparison of course this is the previous version it is looking equally nice as well so in terms of the colors you can see this is actually in a darker tone which one do you guys like more hmm Okay, let's proceed to our next unboxing, which will be the Sticky Moloch from Camp Cretaceous, Savage Strike Sticky Moloch. All right, so take a look at this. It comes with a little booklet behind. I have a spare booklet right here, which I'm, I'm going to show you guys later on. It will be much faster. Okay, so once again, let's cut this loose. Oops, so there you go, this is the new Savage Strike Sticky Moloch in a different paint scheme and this is the previous version, so if you do a comparison, they look exactly the same in terms of the sculpt, just different in colors. Which one do you guys like more, the new one or the old one? Let me know, okay? So this is the booklet. I think most of you guys may have seen this before. Okay, so it's a little booklet with a maze inside. All right, let's proceed on to the next unboxing, which will be Velociraptor Echo. And once again, this is actually a Cam Cretaceous figure. And Cam Cretaceous is coming out really soon on the 28th of September. Oh, let's do one more string, which is, let's cut this loose. Yep, so this is Velociraptor Echo. Let's take a look. It looks beautiful. This paint scheme is definitely amazing. If you take a look, the black stripes across 
the brown body looks really really nice and it has painted toe claws how rare is that if you do a comparison with this previous version you can see the toe claws are not painted so this is definitely a huge improvement can move the head can move our all four limbs can move them up and down beautiful yeah this is actually not a savage strike is this a savage strike but you can't really move at all oh yeah you can actually spring it back like this so you press it down and you release it and it will just jump right up okay it's time for us to unbox this little cutesy feathers so we do have a um Taurus right over here and this is actually a cam cretaceous series so what is the difference between the previous snap squad and the new cam cretaceous series is that it has shiny coat of paint yeah looks really nice yep this is Taurus, the meat eating bull if you take a look at the box it's beautiful we'll place it right over here and um, I think this one looks amazing. The vibrant colors is really attractive. Okay. I'm gonna cut this loose. Be really careful not to scratch the dinosaur. Yeah, there you go. And Colosaurus, the fused lizard, which means it has fused the bones inside of his body making it a super tough armor it is a herbivore if you take a look at this you can see the tiny little blunt teeth yeah they are pretty blunt as in as compared to carnivores it looks amazing the detailing the shiny coat of paint and you can see this club at the end of the tail which is made of really really hot bones okay Next up will be the Triceratops. And I love the colors as well. It's really bright and shiny. Triceratops, the three horned face. A very, very tough dinosaur. Can probably take down a T Rex on, his, on a good day. Yeah. It's very tanky. It's a bit like a tank. If you take a look at this, it's amazing. It's really shiny. I love the paint scheme. It looks so vibrant. Okay, Triceratops, the three horn face, yet another herbivore. Over here we have a Mosasaurus, which is not exactly a dinosaur as you guys may have known it. Okay, let's cut this loose. It's a prehistoric marine reptile. Yes, that's right. But of course, paleontologists are rather just I mean like game makers, they like to classify, you know, Mosasaurus as part of the dinosaurs. In terms of gaming, actually, so this is Mosasaurus, it looks amazing once again. The previous version doesn't have, you know, the, a coat of shiny paint and this is definitely very, very beautiful. The tiny little tail, um, you can actually move it, the four flippers as well. And it has a beautiful Jurassic World logo on the feet, on its feet, well, on one of the feet. Yeah, similarly for Triceratops. Mosasaurus is known as the Lizard of the Muse River. And the Snap Squad is basically something which you can just step onto your, your clothing, your, your school bags, stuff like that. Okay, so now that we have done all the unboxing, let's go and take a look at some of the, I mean all, not some, but basically all of my action figures which are still in their original packaging, okay, shall we? So let's go right now. Okay, so let's take a look at this. This is definitely one of the first Mattel Jurassic World action figures. This is the Ceratosaurus, which is known as the Haunt Lizard, okay? So the rolls are definitely still working. So once in a while, you know, try to press it such that the battery does not, you know, corrode and stuff. Okay, so this is a beautiful, let's say this is a 2018 figure. So it's like two years in the box. 
it's looking really good as well. So of course over here you can see the, the older version. Okay, so let's move our camera closer to this, um, the action figures. And of course this Ankylosaurus, it's from the same wave. Yep, that's right. Okay, I'm not a really really a huge fan of this button because most of them will get stuck. You see? Can you guys see that? So you have to press it again to release it from being stuck. So this is the Ankylosaurus Fused Lizard, of course. Which, which color scheme do you guys like more? I would suppose that most of you would prefer this one more as compared to the rest. Am I right to say that? So let's take a look at the back of the box. Looks beautiful and the illustration and it showcases how you can operate this um, figure. With the Ceratosaurus over here, Pteranodon and Triceratops. Okay, let's take a look at some other figures instead of Rorivores. We have this little green T-Rex Legacy Collection. So this is basically a very young T-Rex. And it comes with a Moth Guard. Is that what you call it? Jaw Guard, Moth Guard. So it basically works the same as the Savage Strike action figures. So you press the tail down, it will go into a chomping action. And the illustration behind is just amazing. You can find various other figures here as well. Okay, so let's move on. Of course, we have the Pteranodon, which is from the first wave as well. Yep, looks beautiful. Let's try to press this. Yeah, can you guys hear the screeching sounds of the Pteranodon? So what is the nickname of Pteranodon? Hmm. Oh dear, I can't remember the nickname of Pteranodon. Oh, the Toothless Wing. That's right. But it's supposed to have some teeth. I mean, if you take a look at the jaw inside, you are able to find some teeth. So I'm not too sure why it is named as the Toothless Wing. Next up will be something which is uh, much newer. This is actually the Primer Attack Irritator Sound Strike. Yeah, this is beautiful. I really love this um, figure, which is why I've got one still in this box. I'm gonna display it in this box. I love this figure a lot. It's definitely one of the better ones, and if you can see, this string is still tied onto um, the body to prevent the battery from being used. So this is the irritator. Yeah, the nickname came from the word irritate, cause. Paleontologists actually felt very irritated when they actually discovered um, the fossils of this dinosaur because they were like all scattered and they had a hard time trying to piece them up which is why they nicknamed it as the Irritator. That's a very very interesting um, story, right? Okay, next up, let's take a look at this. What do we have over here? We have the Action Attack Stegosaurus. Which, this is also from the first wave. So let's press this down. So the first button, there's only one button. I mean, I beg your pardon. So this button basically triggers the tail strike action, which has the Thagomizer. Yeah, this, this weapon right here is actually known as the Thagomizer. Stegosaurus is known as the Roof Lizard. If you flip it to the back, you can find various other figures over here. The Baryonyx, Conotaurus, and Triceratops. Tail striking action looks really good. So this is also from 2018. Yep, that's right. And another 2018 figure, it's the Sukomimus, the Crocodile Mimic. It really looks like a crocodile, especially when you view it from the top. You know, the snout right here, it looks like a modern day crocodile. What are your most favorite modern day animals? I'll let you guys know, my most favorite is the rhinoceros. What about you guys? I love the crocodile as well because I feel they look like prehistoric creatures. Action attack, Sukomimus. So it comes with only one button. So you press it, it'll go into tail, uh, I mean hit strike action. These arms can be moved as well. It looks beautiful. 
Okay, Sukomimus. I think we have reached our last box of the day. And um, yes, this is the 15 mini action dinos. All right, it looks beautiful. You are able to find Parasaurolophus. Two Ankylosaurus, one is actually known as Bumpy. So Bumpy is a character from Camp Cretaceous. You have the Baryonyx, you have this beautiful Brachiosaurus, which is a new addition to uh, the minifigures collection. Indominus Rex, T-Rex, this, these two are repaints basically the same. Blue is the same, Conotaurus is basically much uh, the same. The Baryonyx is actually a repainted version. Uh, for Camp Cretaceous, Stegosaurus as well, um, Dimorphodon and Pteranodon both are actually repaints as well. Parasaurolophus as well, but this is actually like a bioluminous um, Parasaurolophus. You can see some glow in the dark right here. I mean, the neck is supposed to glow in the dark. And the Indominus Rex is also beautiful. Yeah, I think the Indominus Rex will be in the new Camp Cretaceous. Um, series all right so once again these are the three brand new um figures where's my sticky mode lock yep so these are the brand new figures as well as this four little cutesy cutesy dinos yeah that's right and my collection of um boxed dinos which is actually if you compare it to collect jurassic and um like other Jurassic collectors, my boxed dinosaur still in the original boxes is actually very, very, very little. Yeah, this is all I have. I don't have any, um, you know, figures which I still keep in the boxes a lot because I don't have space to keep them. So that's right. I'll see you guys on the Saturday and I'll be moving to my new place very soon. I'll be doing a 1 million subscriber special video really soon for you guys. So stay tuned. And subscribe if you are not a subscriber yet, okay? And I'll see you guys on Saturday for the next video. Goodbye.